Hey boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm Ford Classic and for today what I do have in here it is a video which will explain how you could run Elden Ring on unsupported uh, GPU. So what exactly, what do I mean by unsupported GPU? You see, Elden Ring have a very very nice requirements which uh, will explain what they need so they need a GTX 1060 with 3 gigabytes of VRAM or an AMD RX 580 with 4 but this one is very important so it requires the X12 no big deal but this one is more important feature level 12.0 so what happens really is that a lot of GPUs does support the X12 but not all of them does support the X12 with feature level 12 underscore 0 so in this case my G GT740M, which is uh, my oldest GPU, doesn't support it. It supports the X12, yes, but unfortunately the feature level is at 11 underscore 0. And the same can be said as very popular cards like the GT750 Ti or the MX130. So there are really a ton of GPUs that doesn't support it. And when you try to start Elden Ring with one of those GPUs, it just gives you a white screen and it crashes and you can't simply play it and it makes sense since the game specifically says on the requirements that you need uh, feature level 12 underscore 0 and you don't have it but fortunately 2 v 88 uh, created this tool called d3 d12 proxy whatever and it says that it's a total naive app using proxy dll forwarding to try to run Elden ring on DX12 cards with 11 underscore zero feature level. And if you go in here to releases, you actually have updated this to 0 0.2, uh, which is the latest release. And you can go in here and click in here to download uh, its latest release, which comes on a zip. Uh, to speed things up, I already have it in here on the desktop. So I will just extract it. I will just extract it to, to the desktop in here. In a while, just wait a little bit. Let's extract this to the desktop, and as you can see, these have in here three files uh, which are important to make our game to run. But if you go to your game folder, which in this case, uh, this is a less legal version of the game, but it does also work with the original one. There are some extra steps which you need to take to make it work, but it's all explained on the GitHub page. But as you can see, this is a folder. And what you need to do first, it is to go to your hard disk drive, go to Windows, and search for the folder called System32. Alright, so you need to find two files in here called uh, d3d12.dll and also d3d12core.dll. Copy them and, uh, and put them on the game's folder where the exec. Uh, I mean EXE is and after that you need to rename the D3D12 to D3D12 underscore original all right the one that you copy from system 32 and put it on the game folder you need to rename it to that name after that you go to the folder which you downloaded from github copy the free files and paste them on the games folder and with this you will be able to run all right, Elden Ring. All right, that's exactly just all the things that you need to do. So now that we are done, let's try to run Elden Ring now. Now that we have these files. So white screen, not a good thing, right? But if we wait a little bit longer, it will start. So black screen, this is something new. something is happening it's taking a while and it did start all right so it's at 800 per 600 so resolution sucks um, keep in mind that the game won't be running very well on this GPU especially recording with OBS but this is a very very old GPU a very weak one so it's normal but if you have a more recent one like a GT 750 Ti or an MX 130 or a GT 940 MX with 2GB GDDR5 for example you will be able to run the game 
Alright, but for now I will just show you that it is possible to get in the game despite this laptop sucks and obviously it's it's un incapable of running the game decently so everything is loading but as you can see frame rate sucks so I will leave you a, a link on the description for the github page where you can download all the stuff and there are instructions there to help you as well as link you to two benchmarks that I did perform on the GT 740M and the MX 130 so that's all thank you a lot for watching and I do hope to see you soon goodbye